And the fifth engineering deliverable that we'll talk about is the line list. It is shared with the piping designer because we have information related to the process itself, but also about pipe, a piping system. So the, what is most important for us, chemical process engineer, to know about the line list is that we identify and add line identification for each stream that we will draw in the PNID. I'll talk about the PNID further, but the line list prevents the chemical process engineer from duplicating information for different things. For instance, I have a sheet B01 with line 001 and sheet F F5 with the same line identification. So when you are developing your pipe instrumentation diagram, most often you do that using the line list side by side and that will prevent you from duplicating information and making your job harder. There are softwares, intelligent PNG softwares that do that automatically but if you are in a small company, most often you will fill the line list manually. And besides the line identification, you will also add to the line list the fluid description, if it is liquid, if it is vapor, or if it is two phases, you will identify from where to where the, that line goes and add the PNID sheet that this, this line is shown and also information about the fluid conditions like operation, that operation is the range that you do your heat material balance in order that your process is, is running well. For instance, if the average temperature in this process is 15 Celsius degree, an uh, acceptable variation would be, for instance, 14 to 16. So if your process is under 14 to 16, everything is okay, it's performing well, but for design reason, you need to know or you need to inform the pipe designer what would be the highest temperature expected in that, in that stream. For instance, if you have an uncontrolled situation, temperature of this this, this line would reach 80 Celsius degree. The same is done for operating pressure. You have the average pressure of your, your system, but also you need to inform for pipe designer what would be the maximum expected pressure in your system, and that cannot exceed the maximum allowable working pressure of your system. With the design temperature and pressure, you can confirm if the material selected to this, this line is correct. Usually, companies has a handbook with piping specification that is identified in the line identification. So here, for instance, the, this line identification Line numbering is the nominal diameter, fluid symbol, area, number, and mat material spec. This material spec, if you see the material spec handbook, is related to a set of material that already has the maximum allowable associated with and the design temperature also for this material and based on that there is also the schedule and everything is set in the material and it can be identified in the PNID. It is very important to you be familiar with the line, the line list and know how to, to use that in order to do your work as a chemical process engineer.